here let us solve problems based on rhombus the question goes like this ABCD is the rhombus now show that the diagonals AC bisects angle A as well as angle C and diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as angle D now let's see how do we go about this if you can see that in triangles ABC and ADC we have AB equals AD because we know that all the sides of a rhombus are equal and we have BC equals CD again it is a rhombus then we have AC equals CA because this side is being shared by both the triangles so now by SSS congruence criterion side 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 congruence criterion we have triangle ABC congruent to triangle ADC so therefore since the two triangles are congruent to each other we can say that angle BAC equals to angle DAC now why is this because CP CTE that is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal at the same time we can also say that angle ACD equals angle ACB so again the reason is same corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal so therefore AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. Now, similarly, congruence of triangle BAD with triangle BCD proves that BD bisects angle B as well as angle D. So, this completes the problem. But, well, in the examination point of view you're not supposed to write this you're supposed to show the actual working proving that the other two triangles that is triangle BAD and triangle BCD are in fact congruent to each other and as a result of which you will be proving that the diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as angle D let us solve another problem based on rhombus now here the problem is ABCD is a rhombus we can clearly see that because the diagonals bisect at 90 degrees with angle ABC at 56 degrees we need to determine the angle ACD so this is what we need to find we found this to be 56 degrees now ABCD is the rhombus we clearly know that now we also know that all the rhombuses are parallelograms but it's not vice versa all the parallelograms are not rhombuses only when the diagonals intersect at 90 degrees then we can call them rhombus but all the rhombuses are indeed parallelograms so we can also say that ABCD is a parallelogram angle ABC equals angle ADC because opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal that comes from the properties of parallelogram and we also have angle ADC equal to 56 degrees and then we also have angle ODC equal to 28 degrees because angle ODC is nothing but half of angle ADC because the diagonals also bisect the angles now considering triangle OCD we have angle OCD plus angle ODC plus angle COD equal to 180 degrees angle OCD plus 28 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees because we know that we don't know what is angle OCD but we know this is a right angle and this is 28 degrees so now angle OCD equals 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 28 degrees therefore you get angle OCD as 62 degrees now when angle OCD equals 62 degrees angle ACD is also equal to 62 degrees 